Married at First Sight season 11, where are they now? Okay, first of all, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, and I can't wait to share the crazy special discount they're gonna give you. We'll get to that in a minute. This season took place in New Orleans. It featured from left to right, Amelia and Bennett, Amani and Woody, Olivia and Brett, Christina and Henry, and Karen and Miles. During this season, production had to stop taping for 33 days due to lockdown orders. So the contestants were stuck recording themselves until the lockdown orders were relaxed. Because of this, their season was extended to 10 weeks, which seemed to work for some couples, but for others, it was torture. Let's take a look of where they are now. This couple had a turbulent season. I don't believe anyone was surprised that they decided to divorce on decision day. Today, they are still not together. Since the show, flight attendant Christina moved to Mexico and appears to be enjoying living her life out of the spotlight. She keeps her Instagram profile marked as private and only posts sporadically. In the photos she has posted, she appears to be enjoying the moments she chooses to share. From time to time, she likes to use her platform to promote causes she cares about like breast cancer awareness, Black Lives Matter, and feminism, to name a few. She is not following Henry on Instagram. I suspect her stint on the show is far behind her and is now just a crazy story she shares at parties. Henry, the clinical recruiter, still lives in Louisiana. So while he came across as reserved and quiet on the show, he seems to have put himself out there and nabbed himself a girlfriend named Kayla. He debuted his relationship with her July 4th of 2021, and they still seem to be together as of the date of this video. Now, something you may find surprising is this seemingly shy guy has a Cameo account. If you're not familiar with Cameo, it's a website that connects you with TV and movie personalities. You can pay to have them create a personalized message for you or a loved one for a special occasion or just because. Here's a little taste of the services Henry offers. So it could be a happy birthday, it could be a happy anniversary. I don't know, I could break up with somebody for you if you want. So whatever you want, I'm at your service. I noticed that he likes to start every video with a clap. Check it out. I guess that's his way of starting each video with high energy. I don't know, but he appears to be happy and in love. Congratulations, Henry. Ah, uh, this couple is a fan favorite. They hit it off from day one and are still going strong. They created a YouTube channel to share their journey as they navigate love and marriage. They love to be out and about having fun. They do like brunch, parties, get togethers. They seem to bring the party wherever they go. They've vacationed in Jamaica and San Francisco within the last couple of years. And Mona Lucci, a multicultural wedding magazine, featured them on their winter 2021 cover. Their photo shoot was absolutely amazing. This couple loves photo shoots and fashion, and they wear it well. Amani and Woody were featured guests at the 2021 Essence Festival. Now, they were chosen to help promote health and wellness, and when it came to Fashion Out Weekend, they did not disappoint. In February 2022, they announced that they were going to have a baby. They released this special video as part of their pregnancy celebration. Their friends and family honored their upcoming baby by hosting three baby showers, one in Chicago, San Francisco, and locally in New Orleans. They chose to wait until the baby was born to learn the gender. On June 3rd, 2022, Amani gave birth to a healthy, beautiful baby boy. They named him Rain Amir Randall. And in the Randall way, they had a baby photo shoot. 
Aw, they are such a beautiful family. October 2022 was Rain's first Halloween. They went as the Incredibles. They are killing me with their cuteness. In August of 2022, they announced that they purchased their first home together. They let us peek as they journeyed to sign the final paperwork and receive the keys to their new home. Then later, Amani gave an empty house tour of their new home. Right off right room. Guest bedroom slash office. Dining room. Living room. Kitchen area. Main bathroom bedroom. These two are a true Married at First Sight success story. And I absolutely love how they continue to stay busy doing things they enjoy. And if you find yourself being busy these days and need dinner in a hurry, check out HelloFresh. They offer 35 weekly recipes, so there's something for everyone. They also let you easily customize your recipes for swapping proteins or sides or upgrading to choice protein or even adding protein to a veggie meal. I decided to share my first HelloFresh box with my bestie. I received the three recipes and their pre-portioned ingredients right to my door. Woohoo! That means I didn't have to go to the grocery store. Instead, I went straight to the kitchen to get my cooking on. So this was us making their hoisin sweet potato and mushroom bowl. Next up was their Hey Honey Salmon. Now, one of the things I really like about HelloFresh is their commitment to quality. Their ingredients go from the farm to your house in less than seven days, so you know they're fresh. Finally, we made their pesto shrimp and lobster filled ravioli. After cooking these meals, I felt like I should have been on a cooking show. You couldn't tell me nothing. They were so delicious. Okay, so now that I've made you hungry, let me share with you this crazy special offer they're allowing me to give you. 70% off. That's right. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 70 Tamara for 70% off plus free shipping. I know it's crazy, right? I'm having my own Black Friday up in here. Run to HelloFresh.com and use code 70 Tamara for 70% off plus free shipping. When you get your first box, let me know what you think. Olivia and Brett seemed to have chemistry for the first few hours of their marriage. It wasn't too long after when things started to go south. As of today, they are still no longer together. Olivia still resides in New Orleans as a nurse and has literally hit the ground running. She runs various 10Ks and has even been training to run a marathon. She started a podcast called Check the Locks. In it, she and her co-host explore some crazy true crime cases and try to get into the psyche of the killers they discuss. Now she's done some traveling to places like Honduras, Los Angeles, and Santa Barbara since the show. If she has a special someone, a little boo thing, she's keeping it private. She was cast on season 14 to go on a date with Chris Colette, but that went nowhere fast. As for Brett, he moved on after his divorce from Olivia. He went public with a serious relationship he had with this woman named Brittany. However, they have since broken up. He's definitely devoted to his furry friend. He created an entire Instagram account devoted to his cat. He conducted a Q&A on Instagram and answered questions about his stint on the show. He basically said that Pastor Cal is smarter than what they make him out to be. He hasn't spoken to Olivia since their divorce. He doesn't regret doing the show, but it wasn't a positive experience. And he said it was an awful feeling taping the show. However, doing the show did motivate him to make some changes in his life. So one of the fans called Olivia insecure and accused her of sabotaging their relationship. And he said not to judge Olivia based on what you saw on the show. They wouldn't have worked out regardless and she's a good person. Some of the places Brett has traveled to since the show are Florida, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, and South Carolina. Both Brett and Olivia seem to be enjoying life after Married at First Sight. This quirky couple said yes on decision day. And if you recall, Bennett got Amelia's initials tattooed on his butt. After decision day, they moved to Virginia so Amelia could complete her residency. Meantime, Bennett found work at a solar company there locally. Unfortunately, things in their relationship took a turn. And on October 14th, 2021, Bennett 
filed for divorce. Now, according to a source who said Ben Milia is no more, Bennett said she unexpectedly and inexplicably dumped me. Ouch. I wonder if he covered up his butt tattoo. In October of 2020, about eight months after taping of season 11 began, Amelia confessed to showbiz cheat sheet. I didn't particularly want to get married. I just thought it would be fun to be on a reality show. So I certainly did it for the wrong reasons, but it was a very, very interesting adventure and I had a total blast. Yikes. Unfortunately, I believe she speaks for quite a few of the people who have chosen to be on the show. Just in it for the fun of being on TV. Oh well, Bennett, I hope you had fun too. Since their split, Amelia has found a new love with a yoga instructor named Alexander. she may have found her perfect unconventional match. Her Instagram is filled with their adventures through Alaska where she's currently living and in her third year of residency. She and Alexander visited Hawaii and Amelia shared the story of their misadventures. She wrote, Hawaii was luxurious. The airplane wing broke midair. The wheel of our van fell off and rolled away while we were driving. The car had to be jumped and towed out of the sand pit. But we got to hike, fly, dive, saw lots of rainbows, were rescued by many good Samaritans and got tons of airplane coupons. So great trip. Wow, most people will never experience one of those mishaps in their lifetime, let alone a single vacation? Yikes. She also shares videos of herself playing guitar and showcasing her folksy style of singing. Morning rain clouds up my window I can't see it all Okay, okay, she's got a nice voice. I hear you, Amelia. Amelia appears to be living her best life and in love. After their breakup, Bennett moved back to New Orleans and has turned his focus on his music and theater company. His band is named TV Pole Shine. Oh, don't ask me. I have no idea what that means. Here's a little taste of them rehearsing. Bennett is the one on the left singing. <laughs> Okay, I don't think that song does them justice. Here's a different song they recorded. What I want is what I say. I'm not having it no other way. I'll ask how that one was better than the first one, don't you think? Now, in June of 2022, he produced a play called The Cuck about a sister and her brother plotting revenge against their mother and stepfather. It was set against the backdrop of the Argos Music Festival. As for love, he appears to be in a loving relationship with Pete, the man featured in these photos. He captioned this one, Pete and I ran a marathon on Sunday. It was so fun to work where it hurt. This photo was captioned, Pete and I found this sweet little pup on the street on Friday night. She had no tags, no chip, and no one has reached out to claim her. So we've decided to keep her as our own. We fell in love with our sweet little peanut at first sight. Get it? At first sight? Sounds like he and his new love interest are enjoying being active together. Finally, you can also catch Bennett on Cameo. I'm on Cameo now, and I am happy to um, send warm wishes, congratulations to you and your friends. I'm happy to do the dance. Bennett appears to be having a blast and doing what he loves. This is a couple that got off to a rocky start. Karen didn't appear to be very smitten with Miles most of the season. However, the extra weeks in quarantine may have served them well. They overcame a lot together and a bond was formed. They said yes on decision day and their love story took flight. They created a YouTube channel to chronicle their journey after decision day. On their channel, they shared some moments during the holidays like Valentine's Day, their vacation to Rio de Janeiro, just to name a few. Both of them have created cameo accounts and sometimes they include each other in their greetings. A little two for one action going on there. They've added a new addition to their family, a furry friend they name Ali. 
Miles has been very open about his battle with clinical depression, and he uses his platform to advocate for mental health. He also joins panels to discuss the importance of good mental health. Miles shared this video where he was trying to face his fear of falling. This is hilarious. I could watch it over and over again. They joined their friends Amani and Woody for that photo shoot with Mona Lucha magazine for their winter 2021 issue. This photo shoot was absolutely beautiful. They partner with the travel agency as co-host for a seven day and six night trip to Dubai. Join club jet lag 360 in Dubai for a week with special guests Karen and Miles Williams from the hit show Married at First Sight. Our itinerary combines adventure and luxe, ensuring you return home relaxed, rejuvenated, and filled with awesome stories and photos. The possibilities are endless, so make plans to make memories and check Dubai off your bucket list. So this is where their story takes an unusual turn. On October 6th of 2022, Miles posted this statement on his Instagram. In an effort to be as proactive as possible, I want folks to know that I will not be able to attend the trip to Dubai. I genuinely look forward to this opportunity and believe that it's still going to be a great time with Karen and Club Jetlag. After he posted this statement, rumors began to swirl of a breakup between these two. As of the date of this video, they have not created a new video for their YouTube channel since June 24th of 2022. And they do not follow each other on Instagram. Some people see that as a telltale sign. However, there are happy couples that don't follow each other on social media. Miles hasn't posted on Instagram since his Dubai cancellation post. They haven't posted pictures together since this little video on August 27th on Karen's Instagram expressing their excitement about the Dubai trip. But the same day Miles posted his statement about Dubai, Karen posted this promotional video on her Instagram. Someone commented on this video, no wedding ring? So Karen responded, y'all really need to understand how a camera works. Sick of these comments because you all don't understand that depending on how you film, selfie versus regular camera, your hands can switch. Go do some research and tell a friend. It is there, it's a petite band, so it's kind of hard to see. In her latest video posted on November 2nd, 2022, she's clearly wearing the same band. But this isn't the first time Miles has canceled a trip and taken a break from social media. They both posted this statement to their Instagram accounts in December of 2021. Friends and family, I have taken some much needed time to reflect and I have decided to take some extended time away from social media. I will be taking the next couple of months to relentlessly focus on my mental health and well-being. As a result, we have decided to cancel our spring trip to Punta Cana. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience and disappointment this may cause. We are genuinely looking forward to connecting with you and enjoying the great itinerary that I can't wait to travel half planned. We empathize with the toll that a cancellation like this has on everyone involved, and we encourage folks to continue to support I can't wait to travel going forward. They have shown the utmost compassion and service to us throughout this process. I sincerely thank you for your support and understanding. Take care of yourself. Take care of your people. This particular trip was scheduled for April of 2022. So the current state of their marriage is unknown. I'm hoping that Miles is just taking another break from social media and that they have decided to take their relationship off social media as well. Here's to sending oodles and oodles of positive vibes to Karen and Miles. Season 11 was a fun one to watch and thank you for tuning into my channel. Bye.